Hi loves! I hope everybody is doing well. I pretty much don't have anything to talk about. This is just going to be one of those iPad vlogs where I just talk about, I don't know, crap I guess, right? I don't know, I've been really down lately and the reason I've been down, like what else is new? I always come on here when I'm fucking getting old, but no, it's just, it's weird because like I'm 33 years old and when you, it's funny because when I hit 30, I was so excited for my 30s and I still am. I'm optimistic and I'm, I know this is going to be like an incredible time in my life and it's definitely like a really good thing. That's a really good, I'm in a good place and I've grown and I've improved and that's all you can ask for. So like, that's the only thing you can do is just try your best and when you fail pick yourself up and keep going and you know we fuck up sometimes we make mistakes and we you know sometimes we do really good really fast and sometimes it's a slower progress if that makes any sense so I knew the 30s like I was very excited for when I turned 30 a lot of some of my friends were like it was the end of the world to them and me I'm like this is gonna be the best time of my life, you know what I mean? We're past the teenage years, which are really ridiculously hard. You know, kid years are, depending on what child, you know, where you are in your life, that it could be really easy and carefree, or it could be very stressful. You know, like I said, teenage years are usually pretty hard, hormonal and all that. And then my, my 20s were, were really good. And, um, but it was, I raised my daughter, you know, she was a baby. I just met my partner. It was just a lot. It was it was a really good time, and it was the start of something great, which which for me what what it was. My twenties was like the start and the you know the start of something great. And when you have small children, you can't really do much working on yourself. If you know, my whole focus was you know of course taking care of myself the best that I can so that I could be good. But my main focus was taking care of my daughter. It was keeping my relationship good with you know, her father and just taking care of, you know, basic things like that and having small children, you, you have to put so much focus on them if you, you know, you know, any parents know. But, so I was really excited for my 30s and, you know, now I'm 33 years old, I'll be 34 and I think, I always forget, I'm like, am I 32, 30, I'm 33 and I'll be 34 in September, it's crazy, it doesn't even seem, it doesn't seem like I'm, I don't feel that old, I feel like I'm still in my 20s, like mentally I still feel like I'm in my 20s, but physically, I don't, <laughs> and that's what I'm starting to have a hard time with, lately I've been dealing with so much chronic pain, and I'm like, is this really, is this how it's gonna be, and it's tough, because I don't have any energy, my energy is completely drained, so the things that I want to do, the things that I need to do, everything is really hard and it, it takes a lot out of me because of that. And I'm like, okay, I wasn't looking forward to this part of my 30s. Like, this is, you know, my, I talked to my mother about it and she's like, when I was your age, it, it got bad. It started to get bad. You know, a lot of people in my family suffer from fibromyalgia, suffer from arthritis, just suffer from a lot of chronic pain. And so I'm really fearful of that, especially being so highly stressed, highly, you know, high anxiety. I think having depression, anxiety, PTSD, all of these things, they cause like a trauma to the body. It's it's like a it's almost like an ailment, like an ill like an illness, you know what I mean? For the body. And I think that that causes more pain. So it's like, okay, let me try to figure out how to keep my stress down, which sometimes all the time easier said than done and sometimes easier than other times and sometimes like nearly freaking impossible. And the depression I, I can't control my depression. It's something that I can't control. I just have to work with it and I have to try to keep my mind focused and my, my spirit focused to keep that, you know, controllable, if that makes any sense. And I'm sure some people it will make sense too. But dealing with this pain is a whole new thing for me. Dealing with my, I feel like I have rocks in my legs. I feel so heavy. I, and I've been gaining more weight because of it because... Honestly, I don't have the energy to work out. I was feeling so much better last year when I was working out a lot. And it just, it made me feel so good about myself. And I realized it has nothing to do with being thin because even if I was 20 pounds lighter, I don't think that, I mean, I would like to lose a little bit. Like my midsection is a little, you know, the, the, the jiggly fat we I don't want. But besides that, I'm pretty content with the way I look. But not the way I feel, and so I don't know if it's like extra weight that's making it worse, which I'm sure it is, but the pain and the energy not having is making it 
I feel like the only thing, the only way I can explain it is like working out when I have the flu. It's like having the flu, how your body feels when you have the flu or really like you're really sick and you're just worn down and it hurts. And that's the only way I can compare it to. So it's like, oh, I have no energy. Just walking up my flight of stairs to get my mail kills me. And I'm like, really? I feel like I'm 100 years old. This has to... I, I can't. And I I haven't been eating that good. And I realized that I think my depression is playing a little role into that. At night, I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. And that I'm not... That not giving a fuck attitude is one of the worst things to have. Because it's so self... It's not self-destructing thoughts. Self, It's a self-destructing pattern. And I'm just like... I don't give a fuck, and I'm eating chips, and I'm eating this, and I'm eating that, and I'm just eating just garbage. And I'm not like the type of person who's going to be like, oh, well, you can't eat anything. Like, if I'm going to want a cupcake, I'm going to eat a cupcake. You know, I don't think that I should have a whole box of cupcakes, and I don't really think that I should be eating that stuff every day. You know, to each his own, I always speak for myself. This is for me personally. I just don't think that I should, but... I don't think it's bad if you have a cupcake every now and then or if you eat, you know, if you have a really good dinner where you're not calorie counting all the time. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. But I also see that moderation, and you know, I know that moderation is so freaking important. And I haven't been dealing with moderation very well, which is a problem, and it will lead to even bigger problems, and it will not, it's not going to help my anxiety and my depression any, so I really have to, like, grasp and take a hold of this before I lose control, and I feel like I am almost losing control with that, like, I don't give a fuck attitude, which is part of anxiety and depression, unfortunately, but I have to be stronger than, than the, the, depre the depression and anxiety. I've, you know, again, easier said than done, but... I just feel like I'm capable of it, and so I really need to, and I need to start putting better things in my body so that I can have more energy, so that my body can feel good. Especially, I think I've come to terms that I probably do have fibromyalgia. I mean, when I look at the symptoms, I pretty much have them all. And as I get older, it's getting worse, which is, it goes along with my family. That's what happens when they hit a certain age, and it's just, that's what happened with them, so, you know, I hate to be like, monkey see, monkey do, but genetics are genetics, and, you know, sometimes you just can't do anything about that, and there are worse things, like, I'm definitely not complaining, I'm definitely happy, and I have a lot to be grateful for, and I do focus on all of that, but it's just so tough when I just don't have the energy that I want, that I need to get things done, and my motivation is crap. And then I'm noticing that my depression is going along with that, where I'm just, I'm not feeling good about myself, I'm not feeling like, I'm not giving myself credit where credit's due, but I'm also not doing what I know I'm capable of doing and what I should be doing. And so those two things are kind of messing with myself, and I, I, I'm just not, I don't know, I really have to, really have to focus on positive, so I'm just... I don't know, I've been failing, I guess, the past couple of weeks. It's been major failing with eating, exercising, moving, you know, mindsets, just almost like it seems like I'm binge eating, and that's just not, it's not typical of me. So I don't want to, I don't need any bad, more bad habits. I don't, I'm very, very hard on myself as it is, and I criticize every fucking thing I do, which is so bad, and I know this, and I'm trying to, figure out how to work with it, I guess, how to work on it, because I never realized I was as bad as I am. I'm like, I'm really bad, and I'm just starting to realize that, so hopefully this summer is, you know, it's coming, basically summer for me is starting this weekend. My boat is going in the water, so I'm really excited because I'll get to spend more time by the shore, which means more family time, especially like me and my daughter, we get to spend more quality time together, and being just by the water just does something for me, even though, I mean, sometimes it's so depressing because I won't feel good and I won't have any energy and I won't want to do anything and I'll be in such a beautiful place with, you know, friends right outside my boat and a kayak I can go on and a pool I can go swimming in and I don't want to do anything, so sometimes it's hard in that way where I'm like, oh my goodness, I have everything that I could want and I have more than I would have ever envisioned myself having, yet I'm not happy. Like, I have everything that I've wanted and I'm not happy. So, sometimes that bums me out, but it's like, it's again, it's I think it's just that downward spiral thoughts, like once, once something is bad, it's just everything is bad, and that's something I probably have to work on too, but yeah, so if you guys want to see like videos down by the shore, like kayaking, going to the island, pool, things like that, let me know, like thumbs it up and let me know just if you would like to see that, because I'm definitely going to 
they have a new internet service this year. Last year I would not be able to upload there, so maybe it'll be better when I can actually upload there, but even if I can't upload there, I can film there and I can edit there. So if I can get all that done, I can just bring, you know, go home for a couple of days back here and just upload everything and then put it on like timings where, you know, different videos will upload different days. That way there'll be different things coming on because it's tough. But there's so much, you know, there is so much. It's so nice. So I definitely want to show that and do more videos. And I want to vlog more. I kind of stopped. Like I was doing it for a while and I still have a few that I need to upload, like edit and upload that are obviously older, but whatever they're going to get. I did them and I figure even, you know, Sometimes I don't post things for like a week or two. Sometimes it's just out of forgetting. Sometimes it's out of being self-conscious about the video and like, do I want to post this? And I'll sometimes watch it like three or four times just to make sure. And then I did that with the last video I posted, which is the fortune cookie soapbox. I filmed at night and at night I just get like my filter goes and I just get a little silly. I don't know. Like I, I just feel like it's different for filming and I don't know. So I was really self-conscious about putting that out there, but I did. I was like, screw it. I filmed it. I took the time to do it. And why not? What am I like? What am I being so what? Someone's not going to like it or I'm going to offend somebody. I'm not meaning to or, you know, I can't worry about that. So I just do it. So I'm basically like, you know, things will be older, but at least they'll be getting out there. And then these, when I film anything like this, if you see this type of video, this is filmed and then usually like uploaded within the hour of it being filmed. So these are really present, but I don't think I'll be able to do these down by the shore because of the inter the internet access there and it being cut off and, you know, getting turned. It's just, it was so crappy. So I do hope that it's better there and I can just post more and maybe exercise more when I'm down there. They do have an exercise room because I haven't been going to the gym here, even though I'm paying for it every month. Can you imagine how much gyms make from people who don't go? Like, so many. But, so much money. These kids across the street are out of control, man. But, yeah. I don't know. I've been doing good, though, besides that. I'm just trying to, like, I don't know. I guess, really, I haven't been doing good. I'm in fucking denial. I really haven't been doing good, but I've been keeping my head up, and I've been fighting it. And that's all we can do when we don't feel good, is keep our head up and fight it, and try to do better, and try to feel better. And, I guess, try to evaluate the situation, which is what I'm doing, and... The more I evaluate it, I'm like, wow, maybe my depression has been kicking my ass more than I realize. And, you know, things have been bothering me that I have been pushing aside. And I've become very secluded, like, very secluded, recluse. Like, I just don't want to see people. I'm not, like, I don't want people in my house. And I, I don't know why that is. I really don't. I have no idea why that is. But, but I love making these videos. I love conversating with you guys. It definitely helps. Like, I'm so... I've had this channel for a while, and I've kind of started it up here and there and then forgot about it and left it alone. And and I don't want to do that again because I think that it, it is really good to look back and to see, like, where I am with the state of mind. That's why even these talking videos, like, some people... A lot of people have told me they really... They love the realness. It helps them because you know, they're going through something similar, and it's just, it is nice to hear some someone is going through th something similar, because you're like, okay, I'm not alone, I'm not a fucking weirdo, I'm not a freak, like, this is something that is, happens to most people, but nobody wants to talk about it, so I think that that's awesome, and that always makes me feel so good, and it makes me feel like I'm doing something for a reason, but then going back on it and looking at it for myself, I can kind of see where I am, and how I'm doing, and if I progress, or if I digressed, or whatever, so... My biggest focus, focus thing is going to be trying to keep my mental state better by not putting myself down and not criticizing myself and judging myself and being like, treating like there's two people, like there's this bougie bitch who's just mean as fuck to, this, to me. But that's me, I'm the bougie bitch being mean, criti criticizing, so critical, so nasty, you know, judgmental and I'm doing that to myself and... I, but I would never do that to someone else. I would never condone that type of behavior, but I'm doing it to myself. Like, doesn't make sense. So I want to stop that. I need to work on stopping that. And moving more and just pushing and not letting the pain control me because I'm not used to pain. So I have to make sure that I don't let it control me and that I just, I say, you know what, fuck you, pain. I'm going to, I'm going to push through and I'm going to do everything that I can to make myself feel better, which I know is eating better and exercising more. Those two things, and it's not going to be a cure-all, obviously, but it's going to help, and I know that, so I really have to, really have to push towards that, and 
just stop putting junk in, in my body and you know, probably drinking a little bit too much wine. I'm not getting, like like I said, I'm not a drunk. I don't get all drunk, but it's just so many empty calories. Like, I can have three glasses of wine before bed, and it's probably not the best thing, let's be for real. And really only because of the calories, because I, I, I find that just, like, I love relaxing and having a glass of wine. Although, sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm only going to have one or two glasses, and I'm like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to have one more glass. No, you know, more calories, more alcohol I don't need in my body. Just things I don't need. And, yeah. Self-control, I guess. A lot of self-control and loving myself, which I suggest for anybody. If anybody's dealing with this, know you're not alone. I say that a lot because it's true. We are so not alone. But just every little bit counts. And my girl on here, Nicole, if you see this, I love you so much. You said that, like, just every little bit, like, even just cutting one little thing out makes a big difference and you are so right and I have to just keep telling myself that not like oh fuck that I'm just gonna have one more piece no fuck that every little bit counts so just by taking out a little bit it makes a big difference especially over time more water just more positivity more prayer I have not been reading my bible app which I love I think it's the greatest thing ever I've not been reading my Joyce Myers which I typically read on my Bible app and then watch her on YouTube. I have not been doing that, and I need to start doing that again. I need to start to find some good motivational people on here that I can watch, like exercise people. I have a lot, I love watching everybody on here that I'm subscribed to, but I need to find a couple more people that are just like, like I, I love watching Arika Sato because of that. And if you don't know who she, I mean, most people know, I'm sure most people know who she is. If not, though, I mean, she's just such a, she's so pretty and she's so L.A., but she's, for some reason, motivates me. I don't know why, but she just motivates me. When I watch her vlogs and I watch her exercise videos and her eating, it motivates me and it pushes me. And I don't know why. Some people motivate me and some people depress me. She motivates me. And so I just need to find a couple more people like that that I can concentrate on watching. Like, every morning, just watching a certain amount of people that motivate me to exercise and eat well because let me tell you I will watch all the Dollar Tree haulers all the beauty haulers and they will motivate me to go shopping and spend all my money so I need to also throw in there some other type of motivation you know what I mean so this has gotten really long I don't even know what I'm talking about but I hope you guys enjoy these videos which a lot of you say you do and so it really means a lot to me because I don't know it just does. Sometimes when we're in a hard spot in our life and we are not knowing whether we are coming or going, it is just nice to have people who give a shit or at least act like they give a shit. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. The people in my life give a shit, but sometimes I question some people. And I hate to say that, but the way I feel is the way I feel, you know? And I'm not talking about any of you. I'm talking about people in my real life, you know? It's just so, that's why it's so nice to have you guys because... This is my real life, obviously, but it's just, I don't know, I've just felt like I've been able to communicate more with people who understand a little bit more and just seem like they're genuinely more caring, more nurturing, maybe. I don't know what the word is. I don't know how to explain it, but I guess I just need to feel loved. Sometimes we all do, right? We all need to feel loved and appreciated and, like, special. Let's be for real, so... You guys do that for me, and that's really awesome. And, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty fucking cool. So, I send you all blessings and lots of love. And, yeah, I just hope everybody has a good rest of the week. It's Wednesday, and I'm going to go see my daughter's last dance class, her little recital. So, I'm very excited for that. That will be very fun, very cute. And yeah, besides that, I'm going to go to the boat Friday and I'm going to definitely try to video and vlog and then put it up next week because I have doctor's appointments and all that, so I'm going to have to come right back here after the weekend pretty much, but that's okay. So yeah, definitely let me know if you made it this far, like what kind of videos you'd like to see and if you would just like to see more and how often and anything like that. I love to hear, um, I love to hear things because it kind of gives me some ideas and motivations, if that makes any sense, so 